everybody. It Hi, is everybody. A, it is a happy Monday morning. It is two weeks before Christmas. Is it about two weeks? Just about. Yeah, it's crazy. Just about. It's crazy. The holidays are upon us. And this week, I remembered to bring our aprons because last week we had to cook without aprons. And that was kind of silly. But anyway, I got, got, a, got, I got a reindeer right here today. in the Christmas tree. We are going to share two of my favorite recipes, one being my daddy. John Henry Dobbs Jr. made the best spaghetti in the world. And it starts with this stupid ingredient that I was going to bring and show y'all, and I didn't. But it is on my uh, Facebook page. I'll share the recipe with you. It's so easy. It's so simple. My sister makes it that way. My sister-in-law makes it that way. We all make this spaghetti. It's very, very simple. You don't make any change like you normally do on anything? I do. I do a little bit because I cook it to death. Mama cooked it very, very slow, long, 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 long time. That's what I do. Some of them have cut the recipe down and just cook it 45 minutes Well, you're an letting hour. those flavors meld that make it so I good. I let them melt together until they're really good. But from that, you know, a recipe is only a beginning. Mama started making baby pizzas for us many, many, many years ago. I've been uh, eating baby, baby pizzas with you for 15 years. Exactly. And... I took a little trick that um, actually Jennifer Goss from Yellow Jacket fame, um, her husband Corey was one of the, uh, was the chef there after Bill retired. And she gave me this really, really great recipe and it is a cheeseburger baked casserole. And I absolutely fell in love with it and it had pickles in it. So I have become addicted to this because of my potassium being very, very low. Vinegar and this has a little bit of potassium in it. So I decided I lift my potassium. But well, we've been eating hot pepper jelly for years. Yeah, yeah, and it's well, that's good. good. This is Sweet Heat, and it is by Mount Olive. I buy it at our local Ingalls store. And well, honestly, Gabriel's no, uses Mount Olive pickles. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. And these pickles just make my meal. So I have taken Mama and Dad, Daddy's original spaghetti recipe, Mama's version of a mini pizza, she used to do it on bagels. Well, I took away the bagels. I then like she, this better than the bagels. Then she did it on English muffins. Well, I did away with the English muffins, and I started doing the biscuits and cutting them in half so it's less mm -hmm. bread. And we're going to add sweet heat to it this morning. We're going to add daddy's sauce and cheese and pickles, but then we're going to add Sweet Shot, which is an Ingalls product that has its jalapenos and sweet juice. Oh, my gosh, it's so good. Tori doesn't like it at all, and she and I were talking last night about a cookie recipe, and I said, oh, you do this and this and this, and she said, well, it sounds so much simpler than Mama's recipe, and I said, of course, because your nanny does shortcuts, <laughs> and we, we got to make <laughs> it She ought to know that, sweet and simple. Simple, simple Southern sweet and, and scrumptious. Sweet. Okay, simple Southern and scrumptious. That's what and Q life needs be. to be in there quick. Yes, quick, 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 quick. I used to call her the queen of Cool, cool Whip. whip. She can do more things with Cool Lori Whip Tempton on a shortcut. Lori said I could put puppy chow in a bowl. You most cool certainly whip could. And make it look good. You most certainly so, yeah, could. Yeah. But anyway, today I've made something special for our crew because our guys happen to love my spaghetti. So I made John Dobbs' famous spaghetti. But it doesn't have pickles in it. No, it doesn't have pickles in it. I'm getting confused here with the pickles. Let me tell you what I did. And Daddy is probably rolling over in his grave right now. He probably is for multiple reasons anyway. But <laughs> that's a whole other story. I We're took, not going there this morning. I put the spaghetti, and then I put the sauce, then I put a layer of cheese, then I put more spaghetti sauce, and then more cheese because the guys like cheese, and they like my spaghetti sauce. So I doctored it up, and I did it a baked spaghetti and in just a couple of minutes we're going to bring that out here so they can eat quickly and it's it's all about the holidays they're taping sharing. they're working on through tonight yeah they're going to be covering them they're going to be taping a christmas program so, so they're they going to be long busy, day. busy busy they got a long day so ahead we're going to feed them carbs and that's going to be good for them so here they come with the baked spaghetti and this is my Christmas gift to them. I don't have to shop now because I gave them. Tim, you want to just bring it over and we'll just, just sit it front right and center? Here. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And this is Daddy's recipe with Sherry's version because Sherry just covered it, uh-oh, hot, 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 covered it in cheese. So well, that's what I do at home. It's the steaming, cheese is what makes it's it. steaming. It absolutely is fantastic. The flavor is wonderful. This is enough to feed about six people. So it means they can eat twice today and then y'all can eat once. So there you go. Oh, we're fine. We're fine. And again, this is Daddy's recipe that has been tried and true in our family for over, 
I have been eating this recipe for, oh gosh, I'm not even going to say the number so many years. Oh my gosh, my sister's watching. So that's watching preserving my, those internal organs oh at, my gosh, at, I at your age, years. At, at our age, since I'm older than she is. A long time. Been, been, okay. A long time, but we're going to get the baby pizzas ready because um, I want to try, and again, Jennifer Goss, thank you for the recipe she gave me. It was a wonderful, wonderful hamburger casserole that had, and this is what you do, guys. Which you cold. take a biscuit and you break it in half. So basically you're cheating and you're getting 10 out of a five count biscuit. But with children and, and you don't need grandkids running around, you don't need all the bread. You don't want need what's all on the bread. top of it. And so I just said this is the best way in the world to do it. And don't open yours yet because I think mine will not be enough. Yeah. I'm looking so, at, at that. You're cutting that in half. You got 10. Here we go. Eh, eh. <laughs> you got any paper towels over there? I'm going to need some paper towels because it's Well, they're not the best hands. in the world, but here. No, those are not Charmin, I'll tell you. <laughs> no, they're not. But see, I found a job for me. I can just stand here like this and look that's cute. That's right. That's right. And, and that's right. And let's talk about looking cute. Is your hair coming back? Yes. Yes. But it's yes. a long way from coming yes. back. Yes. But my hair, this is part of, of why we're so excited. For I want to thank all of you for all of your prayers and your cards and your phone calls and, and everything. And all of you have contacted my daughter through her computer and Facebook and everything. Uh, last week, my PET scan came back completely clean. Now, that is the cancer, amazing. the cancer could come back tomorrow. It could come back next week. It could come back 10 years from now. But right now, I'm clean. And so, but that's awesome. part of what is exciting is the fact that my nails are growing all of it. Look at my nails. I know that just my nails are growing. Nothing. My hair is growing. It's I won't, amazing. I won't pull off my beautiful blonde hair to show y'all how much the it's growing. Wig I have ever seen. My daughter found this wig. She said I was worried about what I would find and all of a sudden she said here mom here's your wig and she handed it. They put amazing. it on me and that was it. Okay, you basically take daddy's spaghetti sauce. This is why when I do daddy's stuff, I make extra sauce to have to put in the freezer for Here, the let me do that pieces. while you talk. Okay. If you'll just cover those. I've and then again, a time. thanks to Jennifer Goss who gave me this recipe, and it was years ago when I worked at the Yellow Jacket. And I have to say to everybody who came to the Yellow Jacket during that time I worked there, Sundays were my favorite day of the week because I got to see so many of our amazing viewers. And well, everybody came from church, it. and it was like a club meeting. It was. I absolutely loved every minute of it. The day the yellow jacket closed was traumatic for me because I knew Thanksgiving, we would, I missed his dressing. Well, we would never again have that amazing fried chicken and those awesome cream potatoes. So pretty sad days, but they went into retirement, and then now Bill's gone on to be with the Lord, and Joyce is enjoying retirement. But Corey also has a great job at Mason Tractor, and, and that's life. Life is about the things that make you happy, and um, they're all happy. But to Jennifer, when she gave me this recipe, I thought, pickles, okay. And it's, it's ground beef and cheese and then mustard and ketchup and pickles and then little biscuits on top of it. So that gave me the idea to convert Mama's mini pizzas to have some pickles. So I'm going to make a couple of them with pickles, a couple with jalapenos, and a couple the original way because not everybody is pickle crazy like Sherry is. So oh, Michelle won't put a pickle on anything. No. Oh my gosh, I love pickles. Well, she'll eat a pickle. Do you like pickle. jalapenos? No. Oh my gosh, what's wrong with this world? You got to have jalapenos. Jalapenos open your head up. I think that I'm pickle I just ate opened my head up. <laughs> yeah, it'll open up everything. <laughs> well, now one of our chicken places that, that Miss Crystal used to own uh -huh. has a a, no, it's not hers. It's the other one. Has a sauce called Sweet Hot. Mm -hmm. That mm -hmm. since my IV treatments, yep. I can't seem to get enough of. Yep. Okay. Now I'm gonna put the lid back on this. So we've got a couple of things that can go back. And, and I washed through. my hands good before we started the show. And I did too. Now we're gonna cheese them up. And then I am truly going to change the whole taste in Daddy. If you're rolling over in your grave, I, I would appreciate if you'd sit still for just a minute and just give me an opportunity to do this because he is probably, ah, oh, you're ruining my sauce. You're ruining my sauce. <laughs> Among other reasons that he'd be twirling yeah, around yeah. down there. There's a bunch of reasons Daddy'd be twirling around. <laughs> oh, Lordy. 
Now, see, if I were home, I could lick this spoon, but I'm not I at had home, the most amazing, and I'm not going to lick it, but it sure does smell good. Well, I had the most amazing stepmother, and I thank God for her every single day. My sister and I were very, very blessed. When Mom and Daddy got a divorce, we ended up with the greatest stepmother in the world, which was pretty awesome and pretty cool. And the fact that she lasted as long as she did with Daddy is an honor to her. She was amazing. Okay, pickle. This is sweet heat pickles, and I'm only going to eat on a couple of them. You eat pickle? Y'all eat pickles? I don't know. That's an awful hesitant shrug <laughs> there. Do you see that? It's, ah. Yeah, and it is going to give it a totally different taste. So I'm only going to do a couple of them like this. And then I'm going to put sweet heat jalapeno on a couple of them. Oh, and you're again, not going to believe the pickle, the, the aroma is making yes, my eyes water. It will, and it will open your head. Ah. It will open your head. Okay, so we've got jalapenos, and, and again, this is called sweet heat. And the pickles are found here at our local Ingles, and so are the jalapenos. And I'd never ah. seen these before. I started buying I them about two years ago. I am not joking. I am not joking. I am not joking. Can I have something for my hands? Wait a oh, minute. hold on a minute. Oh, <laughs> oh holy moly. I couldn't let anything touch up. my hand. Is that Golly Moses. Okay. Can Whoa. we get a close up of that? Can you see that, guys? I don't know. It may, break, may, may crack the lid. Pickles, 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 jalapeno, jalapeno. So just a few of them. And then the rest of them are going to be just like Mama would have made them. Except when Mama started doing this recipe, she truly did it on an English muffin first, and then a bagel, and I kept saying that's too much bread, that's too much bread. And then I did this version, and we just take the This take was the a buffalo and wings, you could now. wind up in the hospital. Woo! It's hot. Okay, we're gonna take a commercial break, and we're gonna throw this in the oven, and when we come back, we're gonna serve up this spaghetti for the guys. I made them spaghetti and garlic bread. They deserve it. They show up every day. Anytime my whim is, let's do this, let's do this, they say, okay, sure, with let's a, do with, it. A, with a smile, so, so with a smile. It. And sometimes I might be hard to handle, but they always handle me. And so to, to Tim and to Cole, thank you very much for another year of uh, fun and games. And Miss Angela's now, not here to roll her eyes no, on that one not. either, but I, will, I rolled awesome. mine for her. Today we're going to share something. We're going to share the footage of my daughter and a beautiful song that a dear, dear friend wrote for her. I've gotten through it all weekend long without crying. We're going I celebrated smile. her we are, life. We are celebrating I Angela's celebrated life. Her life. God gave you a gift. He could not. He, he might did. not have given you that gift, he but did. he did. In 1969, on Christmas Eve, I was given the greatest gift of all, which was a beautiful daughter with gorgeous blue eyes. And y'all loved her blue eyes. You and the wackiest smile. sense of humor. The wackiest sense of humor. Yes. Yes. All right. right. We're going to take a commercial break, and we're going to do the music with Angela, and then we'll be back. United Country Talking Rock Realty says it best. I'm happy as long as I can see Sharp Top. From the ground up, new home to complete renovation or remodel, we have combined the amazing workmanship of SGC groups, transforming the forgotten to the fabulous. Teamwork makes the dream work. For buying, selling, or flipping, call Sherry Martin at 404-375-0590 or Evelyn Calhoun at 770-733-0779. Whether you're in the mood for chicken strips, a delicious burger, our classic banana split, or an upside down thick blizzard treat, we've got you covered. Hot and fresh food every day, every time. And delicious DQ soft serve make the perfect pair at your favorite place. Not fast food, fan food fast. Your Blue Ridge, Ella Day, and Jasper Dairy Queens are your meat, eat, and treat headquarters. Thank you for choosing DQ. How may I serve you? Georgia Medical Treatment Center now has two locations to bring you the high quality holistic care you've come to know and expect. We treat neck, back, and joint pain with chiropractic care and injection-based treatment without the need for surgery or prescription painkillers. Our medical weight loss program can also provide relief while ridding your body of toxins, pounds, and inches while improving your overall health. Call today for a free consultation, 770-345-2000, or go online to georgiamtc.com. Whether you're swimming in the sea, 
or splashing in the pool, making a masterpiece, or just making memories. Writing a great American novel, or writing your term paper that's due tomorrow. Whatever you do in life, Farmers is here to protect it. For all your insurance needs, call Donald Curtis in Blue Ridge. We're back. The baby pizzas are in the oven. The the spaghetti, and I wish you could see the steam coming off the it spaghetti. It smells delicious. It does smell delicious. This is Daddy's recipe. I will share it with everybody. The holidays at our house have been a little different for seven years because my daughter went to be with Jesus, but she left so much laughter, so much love. But so you much were given a gift for so many for years. For so many years. For so many years. We are celebrating her. We are celebrating we are. her. We are not looking at the horrible aspect of it. We are looking at the gift that God gave you and right. that you had her for so long. And now her friend who wrote this song and performed it here live at ETC has gone on to be with the Lord. So to Mike Rizuko, we loved you. I appreciate everything you did for my beautiful daughter. I appreciate you singing at her funeral. There were so many people who stepped up to the plate and her funeral was certainly a celebration of her life and that's what it's meant to be. So if you're looking at the loss of a loved one, um, I, I can't stop thinking about David Roper and Kathy Roper. Kathy went to be with the Lord a couple, of, like a week ago and it doesn't seem real to me yet. She was an amazing caretaker of her husband David. She is a wonderful, wonderful lady. She is with Jesus now. So we can't cry and whine and moan, but it is so hard to imagine the holidays, the holidays, Donald lost his sister, the holidays, the holidays are tough. But I want to make the holidays better for everybody and I want you to sit back and I want you to listen to this song and I want you to look at my daughter's face and the smiles and the laughter and the joy. Because in her life before it turned dark, there were smiles and laughter and joy. This coming Friday will be 32 years that I lost Bob. There you go, 30, holidays. 32 years, how, the how holidays. can that, how can that even be. I don't know. See I this just, cheese? I just don't know. We got cheese leftovers It's because we didn't cook all the baby pizzas. But I had not. Well, we got other stuff. We could fix them all kinds of stuff. We could do it. Okay, guys, we're going to go now to, um, this is um, the smile of an angel, and it is truly, um, it touched Angela's heart so much. She was so thankful. She was battling cancer when Mike wrote this song for her. He had no idea that we would face her suicide, and we did, and we made it through it, and then he took his life. So suicide is a very real thing. And over the holidays, please do not let anything that's messing with you, happening to you, tearing your heart apart, Talk to somebody. get you down. Call yeah. someone. Yeah. Call, call yeah. anyone. It's so important. If it's you can't so get important. a suicide hotline, pick up and call your local 911 Call your local number. pastor. Talk call, to your pastor. Call talk anybody. To your Just call somebody that can talk to you for five minutes. Or call 911 and say, I need help. I well, need help. I, three words, I need help. I made a joke yesterday because we were over in Forsyth County and we were just riding around and just having a good afternoon. And I was walking into a store and this gentleman said, oh, ma'am, that truck's about to hit you. A truck was backing up or a vehicle was backing up. And I said, that's okay, I'm worth more dead than alive. And he laughed and he said, I love your attitude. <laughs> and I said, you know, life is what it is. Life is what it is. So today, sit back. Look at my daughter's beautiful blue eyes. Look at her beautiful smile and know that we were blessed to have her here at ETC all the years that she enjoyed coming into your homes. And you all showed up at her funeral in mass numbers and I appreciated that. I appreciated your support and your continued love and, and your continued memories of her. So here we go to Angela's smile. <laughs>
break they can handle. We're back! Okay. I hope that you enjoyed and I hope that it made you smile. I hope that you remembered her as alive, vivacious, crazy, so much fun. She was truly the Christmas baby. She was born uh, at 2.22 a.m. on Christmas Eve, 1969. She was, um, she tells everybody, I guess I was addicted to Christmas because my mom brought me home and sat me under, under a Christmas, Christmas tree. tree. And yes, I did, yes, I did. So, were there no big spoons back there? Okay, Tim's going to hunt. And uh, then we're gonna serve up this hot spaghetti, but I wanna show you, this is, this is not the way Daddy would have served it. But that, it looks mighty good. I took You've about the spaghetti. let the steam out of it. Look you at always it. use thin noodles. You always use thin noodles. And I can't stand them big old fat spaghetti noodles. That drives I me buy, crazy. I buy linguine or thin spaghetti. Well, you gotta, have, you gotta have thin spaghetti. And this one has probably two pounds of mozzarella cheese on it, but that I put two layers good. of mozzarella cheese because I think the guys like cheese. And I just thought, yeah, yeah, it looks pretty yummy. Pretty yummy, and hopefully we'll have a spoon in a minute, and we're going to serve them, and we're going to let them eat during the show, because they have a lot to do. The holidays mean that there's going to be a lot of television specials, and I have to say there is a great television special starting at ETC today. It is the full ball ground parade, and I'm so excited because we had three cameras, amazing work by one of our friends from down in ball ground, and then the guys came down and then Tim edited it and we have amazing one hour footage of the ball ground parade. It means that you can sit in your house, in your pajamas, drinking your coffee, <laughs> drinking your hot Eating chocolate, your popcorn. Whatever you want to do and watch the ball ground parade in its entirety. We serve so many amazing communities. But I will put um, ball ground to Turtle Town in a category of its own. These communities show up to help other people during the holidays. All Let me the tell you, in McKay, you would not believe the crowd in McKaysville. All the communities we serve. That's better. That's better. Yeah. The crowd in McKaysville. Okay, now can we get a shot of how hot this spaghetti is? Steam's about gone. And it is steamy, and it is hot. And Tim, how hungry are you? Pretty hungry. Okay, steaming. Oh, yeah, it's steaming. Oh, yeah. Now this is Daddy Spaghetti, Sherry's version, where I baked it with layers of cheese. I do that at home So all the time. there you go, and Jen, will you serve Tim a piece of bread? You can break it off there. And I'm gonna fix coals. And this is what the holidays are about. You don't have to shop. You don't have to go somewhere and spend a ton of money. You can spend your time cooking and sharing love from your kitchen. And again, look at the steam coming off that. It is amazing. It is yummy, yummy, yummy. And it is Daddy's okay. recipe. It's been in our Come family here. for many, many years. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. I've been looking forward to this all weekend. <laughs> Have you? Yes. Well, that's what Freddie asked me. He said, was it your idea or theirs? I said, theirs. <laughs> theirs. Last week, he started. one of them started hollering spaghetti, okay, spaghetti, Tim, spaghetti. Was it Tim? Yay. Okay. Thank this is you. how you serve. This is how you serve up the holidays. You make something that you know your friends love. You make it simple, you make it southern, you make it scrumptious. That's what life is about. It's about sharing and giving and loving. And is that pretty good? Uh huh. Is that going to uh -huh. hold you for a few minutes? Uh huh. Uh huh. And again, thin spaghetti. I've got to have thin spaghetti. Oh, I can't. I, can't I don't stand do. I don't do thick. Noodles. I don't do thick spaghetti either. No, uh -uh. that is disgusting. Not at all. That's that's what the holidays are about. You know, they're about love and laughter and um, bringing those you love close together and. It's, it's so weird, I look back on holidays. Christmas Eve was always the night that we opened all our gifts from everybody else and then we waited for Santa to come. Mama always made baby pizzas. She made pigs in a blanket. Oh, and I love she pigs did, in a blanket. She love. just did all kinds of little things. The pigs well, in a blanket I started all the time. doing a new version of Mama's pig in a blanket and I called it Swanky Frankie the Well-Dressed Dog. And Mama had done this in her restaurant as a big hot dog. Well, I bought this pan and I can put these little tiny, and you can put chili, cheese, peppers, put it on there, and it just dresses up this little tiny pig in a blanket. And so I started doing that a few years ago. Well, it just adds a little kick to it. You know, somebody will love kraut, somebody will love chili, somebody oh, will love just mustard and ketchup. I do that, and I'll use a, a, 
a crescent roll. Mm -hmm. And I'll put little items of some of that stuff that I know I like or other people like in the crescent roll. Put the cocktail sausage down that I've already browned a little bit. Mm -hmm. And then I roll it up and put it in the oven. Simple. Simple. Absolutely. It's the keep easiest thing in the simple, world to do. Keep it and you make keep everybody it happy with what they want. Right. Now, are you going to try that fudge that I told you about? Because honestly, y'all. Yeah, I love fudge. I, I love have fudge. made fudge that didn't set up. I we, still have to be careful because I have some things that what you would think would ordinarily not disturb someone's indigestion still does not work with mine. Wow. But they tell me it's the chemotherapy. How in long my have system. you been off chemo? I've been off chemo since the very end of October, very first of November. But chemo is made to stay in your system. Mm -hmm. Danny and I were talking about this the other day. Some of it can stay in there as long as six months or more wow. because it's made to grab hold of the minutest cell. And it's fighting, so whatever is in there, right. you learn. It doesn't. Yeah, we both laughed about this. It doesn't take you long till you learn what you can and cannot yeah, eat. Yeah, so you yeah. look at it and smell yeah. it and enjoy it. Yeah. And cancer missing out on yeah. a hot dog. Cancer <laughs> missing out. On, there's That's no. Okay. There's no real contest to <laughs> it. Okay. No, not at all. That's okay. But no, I'll eat your fudge. You know that. I can. I can deal with well, it a little bit. I want y'all to try it because honestly, I had never done this. And, and did you I, put nuts in it? You didn't put I nuts didn't, in it. See, no. I'm a nut fiend. I like. I like nuts in it too. But to have one can of condensed milk and one can what's that oh you got another fork okay <laughs> we um we honestly think about are they browned good yes very good. good yay so now we get baby pizzas and this is my mama's idea uh, not quite okay they'll they'll do yes yeah, they'll do. They'll do. I'm learning that oven. We're all learning that, that, that oven. That oven. Well, yeah. I, next next year we're going to have that foodie we're oven when we come back from the oven. holidays, and that foodie oven's going to be sitting right here, and it it also cooks. Now, Michelle, fast. I know you don't want a pickle one. You want a plain one. That's so funny. <laughs> Yeah, and they are going to stick. I knew they would. We're not even going to take these off in front of y'all because I knew they'd stick. Yeah, oh, that one didn't. Well, Jen, you did magic. It's just that I got the touch. She's got the touch. Now that's a pickle well, that's, one, yeah, though. Yeah, that's a pickle one. You can do one. that one for me. And this has got a jalapeno, actually. This has got sweet heat on it. And they call it uh, Sweet Shot. And again, it comes from Ingalls here locally. And I it didn't come off. Love it didn't it. come off. Didn't come off. You did a good job. Okay, so now Michelle gets a plain one because she doesn't like pickles. Uh, want who wants a jalapeno yep. and who wants a pickle? Give you want, me a, you want a jalapeno. Give her a napkin. Thank you. And these, y'all, <clears throat> so so cute. I think I got them. Eh, where did I get them? I don't know. But this is this this is country living. This just looks like the country. So, again, this recipe you make daddy's spaghetti. Bring me and your plate. Then, Bring me your plate. You want and the then and then 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 you keep some of the sauce. Jalapeno pickle or okay, which one do you Here's want to plain? You're gonna Here's what? Fork. Yeah. Yeah. Is that spaghetti good? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Is that spaghetti good? Oh, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Daddy Thank would you. be proud, but he would be going, I never put cheese in mine. Okay, I the can jalapenos just hear him. are gone. You want another one? Uh, I'm, I still got a lot of food. I can just hear him. Okay, Michelle. Here. Can you hand Michelle that one? Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. This is what, something. nothing says loving like something from the oven. And I'm gonna try this. I've never done this before, y'all. Y'all are gonna get to see it first up up close and personal. Now here, I've I'm gonna give you a, a pickle. Shot. Does somebody want a pickle one? I do. I'm gonna try one of these pickles. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I love it. Oh, it's hot. It's hot. It's yummy. Mm. Oh, I love it. The I love very it. crust on the bottom of that. That is so good. So yummy. Yeah. Jen, can you eat spaghetti? I'm fine right now. Mm. I can, but I'm, I'm fine right now. That is yummy. Save it for the save it for the boys. They got a long day. That's so yummy. And again, it this absolutely is, smells delicious. This is a I'll can, snitch a bite in a minute. A can jumbo biscuit that okay. we tore in half to we make got, the crust. We've got three plain ones and a pickle one. Somebody want a pickle one? So good. Kim, oh my gosh. You got enough? You want a pickle one? Mm, 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 Did you get a pickle one? You mm. got a you got a jalapeno one. Mm. Isn't it good? Okay, who's gonna take the pickle one? 
And y'all, this is so much fun. Your cohort to took your pickle a, one away. You want a plain one, you? Tim? He's got his hand and up. I want to remind you, all these recipes are on ETC on Heart of the Home. And you can see Heart of the Home Sunday night, Monday night. Friday morning. Friday morning at 11 a.m. And I think one more time. But anyway, about four times a week you get to catch Heart of the Home. All our recipes from our simple Christmas holiday recipes to our in-depth crazy recipes. And uh, yeah, yeah, that's showing time. No, that's spam risk. Mm. But anyway... It's all about keeping it simple, keeping it southern, keeping it scrumptious, and that's what we're going to do. This is a recipe that's been used in our family for a lot of years, <clears throat> and we absolutely love it. I love being able to share it with you. The spaghetti is ground beef, onions. You put the meat in the Shell. pan and you brown it to very, very small. You want, a, you want a plain one? She's got two. Oh, she got two. Yeah, oh, I didn't know she what she got. got. Two. Here, you take a plain one. I don't one. want a plain one. Mm -mm, I'm good. I love these with pickles and the jalapenos. But the spaghetti recipe is a can of tomato paste and then two cans of spaghetti sauce. I mean, two cans of tomato sauce and then three cans of water. You take the tomato paste can and then three cans of water to stir in with that. And then you add a pack of Lowry's spaghetti sauce seasoning. That is the only seasoning our family's ever used, and I can tell you the only place to buy it is Ingalls. I buy it here in Georgia and mail it to my sister in Florida because they no longer have it down there. They don't carry it in Florida anymore? No, it's crazy. But I mail it to her once a year, and the last three weeks they have been out of it at the grocery store. Well, I everything we all want is sitting in a, in a boat off a coast exactly, somewhere. Exactly, exactly. And evidently something is going on because gas was down to 281 today in Jasper. So there must have been some something going on. Don't anyway, you want some spaghetti? Mm -mm, not right now, thank you. But this... This recipe, share it with your family, do it for Christmas Eve. Um, mm. It's simple, it's yummy. Make your spaghetti ahead of time if you want to freeze your sauce. I do cook my sauce for hours and hours and hours. And um, put a bay leaf in it, one bay leaf. And that is um, that little bit of Italian. I'm going to loosen these. It's, it's yummy, 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 yummy. Cole, but you it's and, about making it simple. You and Tim want another one. I've got them loosened from the... Yum, yum. There's something about holidays at my house aren't ever the same without these baby pizzas. And now that we have this new version. Tradition. 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 Yep. Tradition. Tradition, yep. Tradition changes. Yum. Tradition stays the same. Yum. Those yum. two are loose. And that is so good, y'all. And it's so simple. It's so simple. Make your sauce. And, and again, I put it, I had two of these. I had like that much sauce in a container that I froze that you can use for your spaghetti sauce and then keep your cheeses. You can even freeze your cheese so you'll always have it on hand. And then either do it with the pickles. And I'm, I loved when Jennifer gave me that recipe and I did it the first time. I thought, oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm eating these pickles and loving this. And we need to share the pickle secret with Fred Genovese. It's awesome. With Radio Chef. Yeah, it's awesome. We need it to. is he, absolutely He loves amazing. hot stuff. Too. He eats some of the hottest stuff I've ever seen. <laughs> well, it is yummy, 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 yummy. This week, tomorrow, um, Miss Vicki will be back with me. She hasn't been here in a while, and she's coming back. We're going to celebrate. Her son is actually coming up from Florida, and he'll be here from December 22nd till the 29th. She's going to get to spend some time with him. And those are what the holidays are made of. It is reconnecting. It is being with those you love. And um, I'm excited for her. I know that she's really excited about this. That's what makes us get through these dark days when you have that memory that you lost somebody, when you have that memory that there's an empty place at the table. You have to have those good memories to keep you through it. So, do you approve? This is just awful. Yeah, it's awful good. This is just awful <laughs> This is Who's awfully good. Up? Okay, yay. This is this is a ten out of a with, ten. With, I've uh, always loved with, this spaghetti. What's his though. name say? Bam. <laughs> You know, I used to watch him all the time. Is he even on TV anymore? Mm -hmm. Emeril Lagasse? Yeah, he's maybe. not on the Food Network. He's on Bravo. He's on a lot of network I shows. I love him, him, and I loved his attitude. I loved it. So, First time I met him, I was astonished at how short the man is. He's shorter than I am. Wow. And I just 
it's just it's just weird. He's just little. He's little and wide, but he's a he's little a and wide. He's a phenomenon. I love I love I love his food. I absolutely love his oh, food. Oh, he's he's awesome. He's love awesome. Love his food. Bam! I bammed many of things on him. And and y'all, when you're thinking about the holidays, why don't you just cook something for somebody? And why don't you just maybe make take all your favorite recipes, put them on recipe cards, and turn it into a gift? Wouldn't this be a nice gift for someone in your neighborhood who's a shut-in? Yeah. Yeah. And, and that's what it's about. They you know, wouldn't you fix something like this for themselves, yep. but take them a gift Can you it. talk while I chew? Well, I was going to put something <laughs> in my mouth. You did tell you, now you told me today, today's, or this week of the last week of shows mm -hmm. before we, we go on Next week we'll do some Christmas before reruns. The holidays, yep. Before the holidays. Yep. But again, on, on Wednesday this week, Bill Sinyard will be with me. Be careful. Watch out and on that. And so will Daniel from the, oh, I might say, that jalapeno is hot. <laughs> Eat a bite of bread. Water will make it hot, woo, hotter woo, sometimes. Woo. It's hot. You need milk. You need sweet. It says, Sherry, are you so dumb? It says sweet shot. It should have said hot shot. Hot shot. <laughs> it should have said hot shot. Well, we were in here it one day hot. making sandwiches with hot pepper jelly. Yes. Things that you wouldn't think would go together, yes. but are absolutely so delicious good. with so hot good, pepper so jelly. So good, so good, so good. Now, for all of you, if you want to know where that hot pepper jelly comes from, we go out to R&A &A and Orchards. Get it. And Monday, they have the very best vegetable soup in the world, homemade vegetable soup. Mm, mm. And on Tuesday, Miss Jennifer fixes this unbelievable loaded baked potato soup. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. I'm driving there down to tomorrow go. just to get soup. I'm going to get vegetable mm. soup today, and I'm going to come down and get potato soup for tomorrow. That's her, your, hot. her daughter, the hardest thing to believe is that Andy and Jennifer's oldest daughter got married Saturday afternoon in the midst of all She was a little rain. girl. She's she a, was a she's little a, girl. She first, is when a I first came to ETC, she was a little girl. Tiny little girl. She's now a very beautiful young mm. woman, mm. Mm. married young woman mm. now. Mm. 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 So You're being rude. Did my sweet pickles, did you like the sweet heat? Yes, once I got into it. I'm I did. telling you, y'all, if you like a little bit of heat, put it on your hamburger, put it on your ham sandwich, put it on your chicken salad. It is again called Sweet Heat. It's a bread and butter chip from Mount Olive. Don't just open the Not jar early in the morning. Not to be confused with Mount Airy, where Andy Griffith is from. <laughs> now, don't just open the jar early one morning like I did when I walked in the studio and take a bite of one yeah. because it did open my sinuses. It's hot. But when you were putting them on the pizzas, I'm not joking. That air from that, yep. that the jalapeno, yep. my eyes were watering it's and awesome. I had to, to catch it. It's that. awesome. Well, we but have no. some photos we want to share with y'all, and, and it's funny, but we are in the state of Georgia, where Georgia is known for film commissions. Yes, it is. And um, many, many mega dollars have come to Georgia for filming and for sharing. There's a lot of for, filming in this area up here that you don't even know about. It's crazy. You know, uh, Against the Curve, was that the name of it? Against mm -hmm. the Curve was filmed in Jasper. There are movies all over North Georgia who have the been filmed. The most popular television series ever filmed, Walking Dead. In Georgia. Right in here. Georgia. Right here. But years ago, there was a program um, called Savannah, and we're still trying to find a visit that Freddie did to it because he was on set. But then we kind of, found. Kind of controversial show. We found Scream 2, where Freddie was at Agnes. Agnes Scott College, Agnes Scott College on Decatur. campus, and he was a reporter. And so we have some pictures of this, and we're going to share this with you. A lot of people I know who have moved to this community and retired are now doing extras in movies, just number one for a little extra income, and they said it's a blast. It is so much fun now. Well, do you recognize Freddie? Everything. Oh my God, he's a child. Do you recognize Freddie? He's yes. a child. Is that not wild? And this is the Scream 2 movie. Yes, is that not the coolest thing you ever saw? I Look at that haircut. That. Yeah, I asked him, I said, your hair's different, but his hair really is different in a different shot, and you'll see two more shots of him. But it's so weird because it only paid $50 a day, and you were out there all day long in the heat. Well, look at that. Go on Tyler Perry's a website. Day. You're, it's amazing what that man is shooting in and around here. Oh, yeah. From Atlanta northward. Mm -hmm. Unbelievable. And he's just planning more and more every day. And that whole resurgence in that area of mm -hmm. West End, Lee Street. Because, you know, he bought Fort McPherson mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and has converted Fort McPherson into one of the largest movie studios in the world. Y'all, these pickles are to die for. I'm telling you. And Jennifer Goss, if you do your cheeseburger recipe again, don't, don't do this for the kids because they might not like it. Because her recipe came with dill pickles, and I loved the, the taste no, I of the dill pickles. No, I wouldn't pickles. want this with a dill pickle but at all. This, I'm not a big dill pickle person. This is so good. That but is so really good. But that's really good. But yeah, Michelle will tell you, I've been eating this sweet hot sauce from the chicken place on my chicken nuggets. Mm-hmm. 
And boy, it does. It opens your sinuses, but it is yes. absolutely. But you got to watch and it because it, it comes so back and stuff. haunts you. It yeah. haunts you. My head has been full of craziness. You know, um, we're facing some times of um, the holidays and sadness, and um, we're We've facing some time. times of the holidays filled with joy and we have to decide which one do we do well, so let's we, do the joy a, we've got a sadness coming up at my house it's been 32 will be 32 years on friday that michelle lost her dad mm -hmm. and it's so hard to believe that bob has been gone for 32, 32 years. years well i want to share something and i don't know tim can you pull up where tori and i did the cookie recipe that mm -hmm. is on my facebook page this morning when tori called last night she said nanny i'm trying to make these cookies that mama made and I'm not sure I'm getting it right, and I did this, and I did this, and I said, I don't think that's the way, you know, and so I told her about a recipe I did this weekend, and I gotta share this with y'all because it was so simple. It's one cup of Cairo syrup, one cup of sugar. You put it in a boiler, and you bring it to a boil on medium heat, and you boil it, boil it till the sugar is dissolved. It takes like three minutes. And then you put a cup of peanut butter in it, and you stir, stir, stir till it liquefies. It looks like liquid gold. And then you put a little dash of vanilla flavoring in it. And then you put four to six cups of cornflakes in it. And I will just tell That's you. That's not the one you made with Eric Chastain, no, is it? In no. that big wash tub. Eric's you made was wash, hard. You made wash tub Eric's cookies was with like, that one. work yourself to death. This one was so easy. I was like, oh my gosh. It was so simple. And again, it's one cup of Cairo syrup, one cup of sugar. Put them in the pan together, boil it, medium heat until it dissolves the sugar. Bring it off the heat while it's hot, hot, hot. Add your peanut butter and stir, stir, stir. It looks like liquid gold. And then add the vanilla flavoring and then put your, your um, cornflakes in there, but do it fast because it will start to set up. And then you just put it on parchment paper in a little, in a little thing and um, let them sit up Turn for about on. 30, 45 minutes. And then it's amazing and it's so yummy and it's peanut butter, it's, it's glossy, it's glistening. And it's just Her gorgeous. phone's making strange so, sounds if you yeah. want to know what's going on. Yeah, and she knows better. She knows I'm I have a, We have a friend who makes yeah. famous potato chip cookies. It sounds a lot like mm -hmm, that. She does that mm -hmm. instead of just the potato chips instead of the cornflakes. You know, you were talking about Freddie being in the movies. Michelle was in a movie, and we went to the premiere. Oh, and so was... Charlie's... Um, a Santa. A Santa. Amy. Amy Bryant. Amy Williams Bryant. Amy. Amy. Amy yeah. yeah. Santa. And, and the yeah. funny. Yeah. Tim And was the funny in thing it. is, yep. is to sit in that at the premiere in that one, and I'm sitting next to Michelle, and I'm looking, and there's Michelle up on the screen, and she's next to me. And so, you know, there were a couple of really good shots of her, but that's out there, and that's fun to do. It can also be very boring. You know, I haven't watched boring. that movie. Have you watched it? I've watched. I went to the premiere of it, and then it was held up well, in editing. Let me tell you, Freddie's idea. More pizza. Let me tell you about Freddie's um, idea of doing the movies. He had to wear two. a suit all day long and it was hotter than Hades. Here, take this one to And town. he said it was not take a lot of fun because it was so hot. It was so hot. So you can either really love being an extra in the movies or you can go, oh my gosh, I can't believe we're doing this. Okay, we're gonna go now to Tori and I making Grandma Olga's cookies. Every well, did you Christmas. ever get it? Did you ever get it through? Did she ever make them this weekend like she wanted them to be? Did I don't know. Not when she, I got off the phone with she her. She didn't no. come back and tell and, you. That? And pray, say a prayer today. My my Tori is on her way to Juno by airplane to do some interviews. And uh, anytime she is flying by air in Alaska, her nanny worries. So please say a prayer for a safe landing, safe recovery, safe coming back home. Everything's going to be great. She is facing the holidays again without her mom, and she called me last night and said, do you know where Mama's Christmas china is? And we died laughing, because my daughter's Christmas china, my daughter owned about six sets of china, but her Christmas china came from the dollar store. And we just cracked up laughing. And I said, which one, Story? And she said, the one with the Christmas tree on it. And we said, oh, the dollar store ones. And that's exactly what she used. <laughs> She set a gorgeous table with dishes from the dollar store. So you can- You, you can, can do that. You can do it on a budget. You can make it simple. You can make it fun. These are great plates for children. They were a dollar at the dollar store. You know, you don't have to spend a fortune to have a great holiday. And I want you to sit back now and watch this. Tori and I make Grandma Olga's cookies. When she would make these for me, I would pick them up in Center, Alabama. And she always put them in a beautiful cookie tin. And I don't know how I kept from wrecking, because all the way to Rome, Georgia, I would take the lid off, eat a cookie, put the lid back on, 
driving about three more You're miles. You're multi-talented at doing it. You're multi. <laughs> You're multi-talented. That's how you learn to drive and use the phone so much. That's right. That's right. Shh, don't say anything about that. <laughs> now, that's enough. Highway Patrol's going to be looking right, for her. Here we go to Tori and I making Grandma Olga's cookies. Y'all try this recipe. They are they good. They are amazing. So here we go. Hi, I'm Sherry Martin. Tonight on Heart of the Home, my guest, Ansley, Victoria, Ruth, Taylor, my granddaughter, is home from college. Great to have you here. Thanks. We're going to make homemade cookies for Santa. A recipe that I have gotten as a gift many Christmases from my friend Miss Olga Burgess in Albertville, Alabama, but I've never made them. And you're you're game, so we're going to make them, right? Why not? We're going to make them. Tori, tell me the ingredients. We're going to use two sticks of margarine, three fourths a cup of sugar, a half a tablespoon, half a teaspoon of salt, <laughs> half a teaspoon of vinegar, white vinegar. Half a teaspoon of baking soda, two teaspoons of vanilla, and one and three fourths cups plain flour, and a cup of pecans. Sounds good. Tori, let's put these cookies together. Let's do it. Okay, we have two sticks of butter that we're going to cream with our sugar. Okay, Tori, we're going to cream the butter and sugar together. We have softened, actually this is margarine, and everybody who knows my cooking knows I don't use margarine, but tonight we're using margarine. Okay, Tori, tell me what we do next. We have creamed the sugar and butter. All right, so if you've creamed the margarine and the sugar together, now you're going to add the salt and vanilla and then slowly add the flour as you mix it up together. Right. And then the vinegar and the baking soda, we had to mix together half a teaspoon of each. Right. Set it aside for 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. And then it does... I think it becomes a new compound that helps the cookies stay together. That's Absolutely. what I'm thinking. I think it makes them the crunchy little crispy taste they have. So, um... We're going to add our vanilla. That's a teaspoon, right? <laughs> Looks like it to me. In this kitchen it is. And salt. We're going to add our salt. And Do you want to be mixing it? I'm going to be mixing it, yes. And we're going to slowly add the flour, just a little bit at a time. We've got to scrape the baking soda in there. Scrape it right in the middle. We're going to scoop this into a bowl and refrigerate it for a little while. Let it chill. And we're going to be working on one of our family's favorite things. What Krispy is that, Tori? Krispy Kreme Christmas trees. Krispy Kreme. And when you see the hot sign, you know our car pulls up. Tori, is that tree beautiful? It is adorable. Now, honestly, today, when I walked in with three dozen donuts, did you think I'd lost my mind? No, I thought you were the greatest grandmother <laughs> to grace this planet. <laughs> and you took some decorating tubes, mm -hmm. and you created, has the hot sign and all. What does yeah. it say? It says hot donuts right now. Hot donuts right now. And we know that sign, don't we? Oh, it translates to pull in, pull in. <laughs> it does, it does. And now <laughs> Ansley is waiting to taste this. And I think that's going to be a good dessert, don't you? I think we can let her dive into it. I think we can think do so. that. I think we can do it's that. It's about time we broke her in. It's time. It's time. She's another generation coming along. Yep. Tori, I think our dough is chilled. I'm so excited about making these. Okay, Tori, we're going to add our pecans. We have a cup of pecans that we're adding to our mixture, and we're going to roll this in small balls. Now, Nanny, for people that don't like pecans, why are they not optional in this recipe? Well, you can do it without it, but we, um, my sister-in-law tried it without pecans because one of her family members didn't like them, and she said it just needed that kick. But, you know, if you don't like nuts or if you can't eat nuts, by all means, try it. Now, we are going to roll these into small balls quickly before the dough gets warm. And I promise you, these will melt in your mouth. If they're as good as Miss Olga's, I think I hear Santa. Are those sleigh bells? <gasps> I sure we better hope so. hurry. Oh, we better hurry. Oh, my goodness. You know, he'll be so impressed. Okay, let's stick these. You stick right. these in the oven. And remember, the oven's on 325. And we use a convection oven. Wow, Tori, they smell great. Fresh out of the oven, they're warm. And if we hurry, I think I heard some sleigh bells. <gasps> I hear sleigh bells. Tori, hurry, take them in there and let's get ready. Santa's gonna be coming down the chimney. And we wanna pretend we're asleep. 
Whoever made these cookies will be getting a lot of presents for Christmas. <laughs> From our house to yours, Merry Christmas and may God bless you. Well, it's Thursday and then Hannah. Okay, we're back. Today has been a day filled with memories. Um, memories of my beautiful daughter and memories of Tori who is in Alaska. And the, Jen, I will, there she it's that pickle. It's that pickle. It, oh, it will gracious. truly open your head, let me tell you. <laughs> it really will. We hope all of you are having, you know, planning to have just the happiest of Christmases, the merriest of Christmases. Be careful out there. Coming back up from, from Jasper from the oncologist on Friday evening at 6 o'clock, we sat in Jasper for 22 minutes and moved less oh, yeah. than a quarter of a mile. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All the way up through and other side of Ella J, you could not move. Right, right. The cars from out of town were unbelievable I and they were full of people. I don't know if y'all noticed it, but Blue Ridge needs to <coughs> actually be part of the Floridian movement because if you go to the grocery store, it's a Florida tag, a Florida tag, a Florida tag. We're getting a lot then of Louisiana. Then there'll be a Connecticut tag, and then there'll be a Washington Pennsylvania State. tag. Then I saw a New York tag, and I'm like, who told them about? But you got to be careful out there because some of some these people. Some old real estate agent told them. You just about never, you just <laughs> never know. I don't know what's going to happen with that one. But some of these people are lost. They don't know where they're going. They're worried about finding their cabin for the night, and or, they're not paying or, attention. You can see them driving with instructions, and they've got their, you know, their GPS on the on the front of the car. They booked their cabin online, and I've gotten this phone call, and they'll say, oh, "Can you help me?" We went up this road and we went straight up and then the dirt road narrowed to a trail and we and it's after dark and we And didn't you're get nearly it before there. Dark. So my my recommendation is arrive before dark Absolutely. and get to your cabin. Well, we have so many cabin rental places now that have opened in Blue Ridge they're amazing. that they're now telling the people to come to the offices of the cabin rental and they are literally leading people up yeah. to stuff. When yeah. you get up, are you getting to some of these places up on Cherry Log Mountain or up on, on, on some of the places up there in Blue Ridge, or you're headed up towards, up by, Will, by Winfield Scott or Blairsville? That can be absolutely frightening. You yeah. and I have been yeah. up some of those yep. hills. Or here in the mountains, if you want water, you might find yourself going down a, a road like this. Yes. Or someone I know who had a cabin up in Mineral Bluff going down to it was like going down a cow path. Mm -hmm. Yes, it was. And you literally got to the end <laughs> yes, and you was. got to the end when the trees yes, it were was, there. And I loved every minute it was, of it. It was, I loved it was every a sanctuary down there. Uh, actually, uh, I've had people who, who went there and they were like, how did you find this? And I said, it's a secret. And I just didn't tell many people about it because it was my getaway. It was my hiding place. It was my place. I called it sanity. And I said, it's where I rejuvenated myself. No matter what I was facing that day, just she would always stop at IGA place. though and buy, a, hand, buy a, a, a half a cart full of steaks to take with her I up did. there because we cooked a lot of steaks in that cabin. And, and those are the moments that you want to remember. Those are the amazing memories and that's what the holidays are about. That's what it's about. We've had a so, lot of good holidays. Are we going to tell everybody that we're leaving them now? You won't be back until after the first of the year. Now, but they're not doing shows. I'm not going to come sit in the studio. But when she comes back, she might have her own hair again. You never know. You never can tell. If you'll let me, <laughs> if you'll let me come on the set without my hair, without this one, I'd I be happy that, too. I love that, though. It's so but cute. Then, well, she found the perfect one. It looks like it. Yeah. Well, it is my looks hair because like she you. gave it to me. Yeah. But it's my style. Yeah. My hair has been this color off and on for years. It's so cool. So, but you know, so I want cool. all of y'all to go. If you don't feel good over the holidays, go see your doctors, please, because. Cancer is not always an immediate diagnosis for right. disaster. Danny and I are, are living proof of right, that right, right now. And again, we asked for prayers last week for everybody facing cancer. And this week, I have a, a friend called yesterday, and, and she said, please ask prayer for my daughter-in-law. Her daughter-in-law is Debbie Hansard, and she is in the hospital in, I believe, Northside Cherokee in serious condition. And she just said she was scheduled to be with us on Wednesday, but we've had to reschedule because she said my daughter-in-law's health is, is just declining and we need we need prayers. So please pray for the Hansard family and pray that she comes out. Everything's great. Absolutely. Everything's great. Absolutely. God so. always answers our prayers. He doesn't always give us the answer that we want. Right. He gives us the answer that he wants us to have. Right. And we just need to understand that, that to and listen you know, to what he's telling you. And you as we sit down to have the holiday meal, there will be somebody at your table with dementia who will not remember any, anybody at the table, but include those people in the meal. 
Do not isolate them. Include them in the meal. Let them be there and maybe a spark, just a little spark. And, and, and tell stories if you have people that are not there. Make them part of your meal. Yep. And share Tell those funny. stories. Yeah. Laugh. Yeah. Look at what time it is. It's time for us to it's get out of here. It's time to go. Those boys are going to get us. They need to come get, get some here. more spaghetti for Yay. after a while. Hey, bye, y'all. It's great being here today. I'll Merry Christmas and the happiest of New Year's, and we love each and every one of you. Be careful out there. Tomorrow, Miss Vicki will be with me, and then again on Wednesday, Bill Senior will be here. So, yay. Bye, y'all. Bye bye, everybody. We love you. You gave me.